There's a lot of beauty in our world, so much beauty, but at the very top of the list, or at least close to the top, is seeing Donald Trump have a good old-fashioned meltdown, seeing Donald Trump sobbing his eyes out over all the misfortune that is befalling him. It's not really misfortune, it's all the result of his own evil actions, but Donald Trump will make it feel like he's the most unlucky, most persecuted guy in the world. And so last night, he put out a statement statement, which while in writing, you know that if it was on physical paper, you know, we're all reading these on our screens, you would see and feel the tear stains and you can hear the crying in what he writes. Basically, Donald Trump is arguing that the reason his accounting people, his banking people fired him, they quit, they closed his account is because of the prosecutors and not because he lied to them for 10 years. Here's what he wrote. The accounting firm Mazars has been threatened, harassed, and insulted like virtually no other firm has ever been. They were essentially forced to resign from a great long-term account by the prosecutorial misconduct of a highly political but failed gubernatorial candidate, Letitia James, and the Hillary Clinton-run district attorney's office of Manhattan. Mazar's decision to withdraw was clearly a result of the AG and DA's vicious intimidation tactics used, also on other members of the Trump organization. Mazar's, who were scared beyond belief in conversations with us, made it clear they were willing to do or say anything to stop the constant threat which has gone against them for years. They were broken and just wanted it all to stop. And you can feel the tears being like, oh, the government, they were so mean to me and my company and my friends and my accounting firm. They were so mean. They were so mean that they had no other choice to quit. But that's utter BS, guys. We covered this yesterday. We covered this. I don't want to read it too much. But they said, Mazars, the firm said to the DA and they said to the public, to the media, the reason we're leaving Trump is because he lied to us. He gave us inaccurate information. He gave us falsified information. And over the last 10 years, that false information means that any tax related stuff, any evaluation and banking related stuff that we've signed off on is 100% unreliable because an accountant has to rely on the information they're given. If you lie to your accountant, they're not magicians. They can't just fix your lie. They can only operate under the assumption that when you give them numbers, the numbers are accurate to the best of your ability. And the reason Donald Trump is crying here is he knows this is 100% his fault. And sort of tying into yesterday, the reason the sobbing is especially loud, you can hear the crying through the page, is that Donald Trump knows this immediately marks him for bankruptcy and total brokenness, immediately like never before. Because what experts are saying, and I sort of touched on this yesterday, but I want to come back to it, is that this immediately gives the ability for every bank, every financial institution that's done business with Trump to immediately demand full payment. And because Trump has more debt than value, that immediately puts him in the crosshairs for losing everything, it says. Bigger problem for Trump. The loan agreements relying on the fraudulent financial reports likely have representations and warranties, including one in which Trump was vouching for the accuracy of all the info he provided. So Trump may now be in breach of the lending agreements. The Mazars accounting letter may result in Trump being considered a material breach or one or more of these lending agreements. So the lenders like Deutsche Bank could call all the loans early, change the interest rates, impose penalties or fees, etc. This is why he's crying. He's not crying because he's being bullied and the accounting firm's being bullied. He's crying because for 10 years he's been lying, he got caught, and now every single cent he owes, he owes now.